Hi, this is Mike Henriksen from Strata in London. I'm here with Nuno Sebastio from Feeds Out. How did you get the name for one? I didn't ask you that last time, but I'm uh, just curious, the Feedzai, name. So, I mean, when we set out to, to build Feedzai, we wanted to make it look snappy, and it had to do with real-time data processing. So, feed comes from feeds, yeah. and Zai just gave it a snappy, edgy name, and .com was available. So, that, that met the requirements we were looking for, and it's our name. is real-time, very snappy, and that's actually, that, that kind of like describes what feeds I is. And so, I was just going to ask you that, what, what actually do you guys do? I see you've got business monitoring and fraud prevention, yeah. is, what do you guys do? Good, good, good question. So, we see that at a, at, a, at, a, at a cross point of what is possible today that was not in the past. And that, and that cross point is the combination or the, the possibility that you have today to deal with a lot of data, uh, real-time data, fresh data, and enriching or context enriching that data with historical information that you have organized in your organization throughout many years that you've been operating. And until now, you kind of like at these silos that would work information in a different way. What we do at Feedsai is we don't care if information is one year old or if it's one second old or if it's one millisecond old. To us, it's data. We don't care if it's structured or unstructured, it's data. And what we do is we combine all this data together to give you what we call business monitoring uh, right now, right here in real time with enrichment from historical data. So yeah. but what if the data is dirty and, and in different formats and all that? Do you guys take care of that? That's a, that's a very good question. I mean, data normalization is always a challenge. Yeah. Uh, we don't solve it. What we do is solve part of it. That is, we look at, and you're mainly talking about either unstructured data that is completely disorganized, and we look for patterns there that we try to assemble and derive insights from. And if we're talking about structured data, we typically have built in some proprietary technology that removes things such as outliers. So if they, if they are not relevant statistically for the, the assessment or for the, the, the analysis you're doing, you just take them out. And that basically cleans your data in a way that you can act upon it. So that's what that's what we build at, at, at Fixi. Okay, so there's been a lot of conversations there are right now, and actually yeah. you can hear quite a good conversation going. Are you having good conversations here this week with the oh, yes. people here? Yes, yes. I mean, we're, we're, I mean uh, we're thrilled to be here. Uh, this is very, very important for us. And the main reason that I've seen, and having sponsored the previous stratas, I'm sponsoring also future ones, is there's a shift. Whereas this, this, this new world of data, data dealing, so-called big data, uh, before was mainly dealt with by technology people or just um, more under the hood kind of thing, kind of like platform play, it's now evolving to pure business operations. And we see that even the audience here is more a business audience, mm -hmm. so the audience is evolving. People are becoming more used to, and actually understanding that there's business value to all of this. N not only a new possibility of dealing with data, because you have faster memory, you have uh, faster processing, computing, computing power is much cheaper, but you're actually deriving a lot from all this information. So the conversations we've had today and yesterday were, yes, still with technical people, but a lot more with users that come to us, not with the old question of what is big data, but with a new question of, I know I've got all this data, I want to get more out of my business, what can you guys do for me? So business question, not technical question. And this to us, I mean, it just means that 2013 is going to be a good year. That's, so that's what it tells. predictive and reactive and all sorts of Yeah, so I mean, of. it's taking up what you're seeing now in your, your, your reality, in your business, whatever it might be. I mean, we work with clients from telcos to, to utilities. And based on that, understanding what will happen next. And looking at the good stuff, so what, what should I expect? But also for fraud purposes, yeah. our, our new product is what's wrong? What am I seeing here that I should not be seeing? And if I'm seeing that, what's the cause? Is it a fraudulent activity in my e-commerce website? Or is this, this person is changing its pattern? And today, you can do these assessments and these analysis at a much level, much finer level of detail than you could do two years ago. Yep. So we're winning businesses from companies that have been operating in this domain that have 10-year-old solutions. They don't do this. They don't go to this level of granularity of amassing all these data and coming up with 
real-time information on is this normal or is this not normal? And if it's not normal, why? And companies such as ours and others that operate in this space can deliver on the combination and processing of all this data today, which was not possible five years ago. And who knows what's coming in the next 10 years. So I hope to see you guys evolve with Strata. And oh yeah, we'll, see we'll, you we'll, we'll, we'll be events. around. We will be in New York. Uh, we will be uh, in, uh, in San Francisco in the Bay Area yeah. next year as well. And, and then back here again. Uh, and then back here again, and we think this is a wonderful partnership for us. Excellent. Awesome. No, no. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Cool.